Good morning, everyone. I'm Nena Peragalo Montano, the seventh dean of this magnificent School of Nursing. And it is my privilege to welcome you on behalf of the faculty and staff to our 2020 virtual graduation celebration. Family members and friends, you have great reason to be proud. We know this occasion marks the culmination of a journey for you as well as your graduates, as you have encouraged and supported and stood shoulder to shoulder with your loved ones as they gave us all and more than we ask of them. We're truly sorry that we are not able to celebrate with you in person, but we are so pleased that we have the opportunity to recognize our graduates and celebrate with you virtually today. When 2020 was designated the year of the nurse, who knew that the COVID-19 pandemic would demand the frontline skill, knowledge, compassion, and courage of nurses all over the world, and that our profession would be thrust to the forefront of global consciousness. At Carolina Nursing, our faculty have rapidly become experts in remote teaching. Our staff are supporting our ever-evolving operations at levels never before required. And our students have made monumental adjustments in their modes of learning. To say that I'm proud of what we have accomplished together would be an understatement. As we honor our graduates today, we also applaud those who have shared their expertise and provided guidance and support. Certainly, a school is only as good as its faculty, staff, and students, and we are rich in all three. It is now my incredible privilege to introduce our distinguished speaker, Dr. Ernest Grant, a longtime friend of the school, an adjunct faculty member. Dr. Grant is among the most accomplished and influential nurse leaders today. In 2018, he became the first man elected to the role of president of the American Nurses Association, where he represents the interest of the nation's 4 million registered nurses. A distinguished leader, Dr. Grant has more than 30 years of nursing experience, and it is internationally recognized burn care and fire safety expert. He previously served as the burn outreach coordinator for the North Carolina JC Burn Center at UNC hospitals here in Chapel Hill, and is an adjunct faculty member at Carolina Nursing. He has mentored and educated countless undergraduate and graduate nursing students. Ernie is frequently sought out for his expertise as a clinician and educator. In addition to being a prolific speaker, he has conducted numerous burn education courses with various branches of the U.S. military in preparations for troops deployment to Iraq and Afghanistan. In 2002, President George W. Bush presented Dr. Grant with the Nurse of the Year Award for his work treating burn victims from the World Trade Center site. In 2013, Dr. Grant received the B.T. Fowler Lifetime Achievement Award from the North Carolina Fire and Life Safety Education Council for making a difference in preventing the devastating effects of fire and burn injuries and deaths within the state. An active participant in professional organizations, Dr. Grant is a past chair of the National Fire Protection Association Board of Directors and served as second vice president of the American Burn Association Board of Trustees. He also holds membership in Sigma Theta Tau. He served as president of the North Carolina Nurses Association from 2009 to 2011. And in 2002, the American Nurses Association recognized Dr. Grant as the, with the Honorary Nursing Practice Award for his contributions to the advancement of nursing practice through his strength of character, commitment, and competence. He was also inducted as a fellow into the American Academy of Nursing in 2014. We are highly honored to have him here today to share his considerable wisdom with our graduates. Thank you, Dr. Grant. Good morning to Chancellor Gutzlowitz, members of the Board of Trustees, Dean Paragallo Montana, to faculty, family, friends, 
It is indeed my honor to be celebrating with you as you graduate into the best profession known to man. 2020 has certainly challenged us to be more innovative, flexible, and persistent. And I commend you on your consideration of the health and safety of your graduates, educators, and community through this virtual ceremony. Graduates, today marks a turning point, a time of transition in your own leadership journey. You're joining the ranks of a proud and trusted profession. In fact, for the 18th consecutive year, the public ranks nursing as the most trusted profession in Gallup's annual honesty and ethics poll. And in the wake of COVID-19, nurses have proven once again their unwavering commitment to serving their country and communities in times of crisis. The values instilled as part of your education will continue to influence you for years to come. What you do to live those values in the years ahead will define you as a person and as a professional. Today, I ask you to consider how you will bring the University of North Carolina's School of Nursing mission to life. How will you be empowered to advance health for all? How will the values of integrity, leadership, excellence, agility, and diversity, which were instilled during your time here, show up in your daily practice? How can you seize every opportunity to learn, grow, and better the lives of your patients, the conditions at your workplace, or the profession of nursing? I ask each of you to consider what will be your legacy? Nurse revolutionaries, leaders in the fight for better, more accessible healthcare, started their journeys just as you are today. They were all proud graduates of nursing education, not satisfied with the status quo. They each recognized opportunities to transform the profession, and in doing so, crafted and left behind something bigger and better for the rest of us. As graduates, you must find and develop your own opportunities to make a difference. This is particularly important at, at a time when nurses are the lifeline between hospitalized patients and their families who cannot visit. They provide comfort and continue to be there for the public, who looks to them to be the source of accurate information and calm voices of reasons. Nurses did not enter the profession to be heroes, but their dedication and work are heroic. It's important to note that we advocate not only for patients, but for those who provide care. As you grow into, into your career, I challenge you to think critically every day about what, can, uh, what could be changed for the better. Examine every experience, those that seem nominally important and those that seem groundbreaking in the moment, for occasions to question to speak up, to organize, and to advocate. In honor of the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale, 2020 was designated Year of the Nurse and Midwife by the World Health Organization. While no one predicted what we are facing today, we are reminded now more than ever of the true strength and commitment of this profession. While fighting a global pandemic, Nurses are providing expert, compassionate care, leading by example, shaping healthcare policies, and advocating for resources. In these challenging times, we have shifted our focus from the year of the nurse towards promoting nurses' health and safety and well being, recognizing nurses' role in meeting the needs of patients, and honoring nurses for their contributions in every way we can. ANA joins, plans to join our global colleagues in continuing the Year of the Nurse into 2021. Despite the differences that we're living in, I challenge you to make this extended Year of the Nurse yours. Share your experiences. Take on leadership roles. Focus on your physical and mental health. And take every opportunity to advance your educational and professional development. You are the future, and together we must lead the way to excellence. I can assure you, nursing is a great career choice. As you embark on your professional journey, I hope that you make sure that ANA is a part of your future. Thank you again to the members of the faculty for the opportunity you've given me 
to participate in this important day. Most of all, my sincere congratulations to the class of 2020. I wish you the very best as you go forward with the knowledge and skills that you have gained here at UNC. Take pride in this achievement. Make the most of this valuable education and work hard to spot those little moments that can grow into big opportunities. You might not see your legacy now, but it is waiting for you to discover and nurture it. The world is counting on you. Good morning. I'm Teresa Raphael Grimm, Chair of the Faculty here at the School of Nursing. I'm with you today representing your faculty to recognize all of your achievements. As you have moved through the rigors of our educational programs, we the faculty have walked with you on parts of your journey. And what a journey it's been. Never before have we faced such challenges. COVID-19 has imposed unimaginable restrictions and educational obstacles. In these difficult times, it's been inspiring to watch you prevail. And for some of you, obstacles have been present long before the virus hit. You've been the first in your family to attend college or to earn a graduate degree. Some of you have worked your way through your education, trying to balance the demands of employment, children, other kinds of family needs, all with the demands of learning. As faculty, we often wish there was a way to recognize or publicly award all the students whose achievements are not necessarily represented in their GPA or in their extracurriculars, but in the sheer grit, determination, and perseverance that you demonstrate. Our programs here in the School of Nursing are not easy. Success requires a dedication to the desire to do good in the world. Whether through patient care, healthcare administration, policy development, or research, every pursuit includes a commitment to contribute meaningfully to the well being of others. We, the faculty, experience deep satisfaction in knowing, or at least hoping, that our influence has helped you along your path of doing good. That in some significant ways, the ripple effect of our efforts will extend to all of the lives that you touch. Fred Rogers, in a commencement address in 2002, said that what he hoped for each graduate was that they understand that deep within all of us, is a place where we can stand for the things without which humankind cannot survive. Love that conquers hate, peace that rises triumphant over war, justice that proves more powerful than greed. He ends the address by saying, in all that you do in all of your life, I wish you the strength and the grace to make those choices which will allow you and your neighbor to become the best of whoever you are. Within our profession, there exists endless opportunities to work towards love and understanding, peace and justice, strength and grace, and a willingness to advocate for our neighbors. As you go forward, to use your education in a way that fosters good in the world, we, the faculty, hope that our influence supports you, inspires you, and helps you to be the best of who you are. Congratulations. Woohoo! Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made it, and we are so proud of you. I am Ashley Bryant and I bring you greetings from the UNC School of Nursing Alumni Association. I am your current president. We also bring greetings from the School of Nursing Board of Directors for, of the Alumni Association. Proudly, you are now a Carolina nurse. Carolina Nursing's promise is to prepare exceptional nurse leaders who advance health care and improve lives. I ask you today, how do you plan to uphold this promise? 
Do you plan to do the following? Advocate for nursing. Identify yourself as a Carolina nurse. Support our school by giving back, mentoring students, and returning for events. Do this knowing you have the full support of a far-reaching network of alumni who have paved the path to excellence in education, research, practice, and policy. We are proud of you. From your UNC School of Nursing Board, Alumni Board, representing 9,000 Carolina nurses. Go Heels! Greetings, I am Shilda Rogers, Assistant Dean for Inclusive Excellence. The Pauline W. Brown Diversity Scholarship Award is a competitive award given to a student each year to recognize issues of diversity in care through sensitive, creative, and original coursework. Students or their faculty may submit academic work that analyzes this subject through the lens of race, ethnicity, class, gender, sexuality, and culture, or that focuses on the contributions of persons of color. Please join me in congratulating Lynn Wood Calton as the 2020 recipient of the Pauline W. Brown Diversity Scholarship Award. Hello everyone, I'm Peggy Wilmoth, the Executive Vice Dean and Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Congratulations to each of our graduates and to your families for all of their support. We know that you, the graduates, would not be flying today without the wings of others under you to provide crucial support. Today, we will be recognizing the graduates from the following degree programs. Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Nursing Practice, Master of Science in Nursing, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. The Associate Dean for each program will acknowledge the graduates of their respective degree programs. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Linda Bieber, Professor and the Associate Dean for the PhD program. Dr. Bieber? It's with great joy that we announce our PhD graduates for the December 2020 graduation celebration. We anticipate that these scientists are going to change the face of healthcare. From August 2019, Dr. Sally Diane Allgood, who is a Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation. Her dissertation title, Active Ingredients of Community Health Worker Reduced cardiovascular disease risks. Her chair was Dr. Jennifer Lehman. Dr. Amber Renee Kimball, who was a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Scholar. Dissertation title, Healthcare Experiences and Outcomes in Older Adults with Hearing Loss. Her chair was myself and Dr. Coretta Jenneret. Dr. Anna Lee, Dissertation title, Family Variables and Quality of Life in Children with Down Syndrome. Her chair was Dr. Marsha Van Riper. Dr. Celine Sway Marquez. Dissertation title, Exploring the Use of an Evidence-Based Guideline for Urinary Incontinence and Related Outcomes in Older Women During Hospitalization. Her chair, Dr. Mary Palmer. Dr. Asita Patel, Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation. Her dissertation title, The Impact of States Granting Full Nurse Practitioner Scope of Practice on Access to Care in a Privately Insured Population. Her chair, Dr. Barbara Mark. Dr. Karen Miles Sheffield Abdullah. Dissertation title, Perspectives of Stress, Psychological Distress, and Self-Care Among Perinatal African-American Women, an Exploration of Intersectional and Integrative Factors to Help Women. Her chair, Dr. Cheryl Giscombe. 
Dr. Ashley Cook Vaughn. Dissertation title, Contextual Influences on Family Management of the Challenges Related to Down Syndrome. Her chair, Dr. Marsha Van Riper. Congratulations to the August 2019 graduates. For our May 2020 graduate, Dr. Jillian Adinsky, Hellman Scholar in Nursing Innovation. Dissertation title, Nurses Work and How It Impacts HIV Outcomes in Namibia, chaired by Dr. Cheryl Jones. Congratulations for our May 2020 graduate. For our August 2020 graduates, Dr. Mariel or Molly McCollum. Dissertation title, Hurricane Florence in South Carolina, Hospital Employee Experiences. Her chair, Dr. Cheryl Jones. Dr. Michael Brandon Schultz. Dissertation title, Mindfulness, Interoception, and Stress in Type 1 Diabetes Self-Management Among Late Adolescents and Early Adults. His chair, Dr. Eric Hodges. Dr. Alberta Alley Tran, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Scholar. Dissertation title, Critical Care Registered Nurse Transitions, A Life Course Perspective. Her chair, Dr. Cheryl Jones. Congratulations, our August 2020 graduates. For December 2020, Dr. Shannon Hennessy Ford. Dissertation title, The Gut-Brain Axis, A Pathway for the Analysis of Factors with Biopsychological Health Outcomes in Adolescents. Her chair, Dr. Eric Hodges. Dr. Sharita Linnell House. Dissertation title, Military and Civilian Healthcare Professionals Experiences of Relational Coordination, Job Satisfaction, and Retention in a Military Re Treatment Facility. Her chair, Dr. Margaret Wilman. Dr. Leah Morgan, Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation. Dissertation title, Fluctuations in Nurses Burnout. Her chair, Dr. Mary Lynn. Dr. Brandy Jean Reardon. Dissertation title, Adapting Intervention to Address Physical ne Health Needs of Adults with Severe Mental Illness for Implementation on Assertive Community Treatment Teams. Her chair, Dr. Mark Tolles. Dr. Chen Wu, Royster Society of Fellows. Dissertation title, Unsupervised Behavioral and Pelvic Muscle Training Programs, the Target women's storage type lower urinary tract symptoms. Her chair, Dr. Mary Palmer. Congratulations to our December 2020 graduates. Congratulations to everybody. Welcome. I am Jennifer Dioria, Professor and Associate Dean for the MSN and DNP Division and Programs. It is my pleasure to present to you the graduates of the Doctor of Nursing Practice Program. For December 2019, Dr. Elzora L. Benjamin, Keeping the Peas, Instituting Risk Assessment in New Onset Postoperative Atrial Fibrillation Prevention. Project Chair, Dr. Jerong Wu. Dr. Lauren R. Hill, Project title, Determining Safe Output Thresholds for Chest Tube Removal Following Lung Resection, a Practice Change Evaluation, chaired by Dr. Saif Karat. Dr. Heidi M. McNeil, Project title, Preventing ICU Readmissions, the Implementation of a Risk Stratification Tool and the Assessment of Readiness for ICU Transfers to Medical Units chaired by Dr. Saif Karat. Dr. Bobby Joe Peterson, Improving Lung Cancer Screening and Referral Rates of North Carolina Medicaid Enrollees. Project chaired by Dr. Deborah Mayer. For May 2020, the graduates are 
Dr. Jessica Asaro, a Quality Improvement Initiative Evaluating Preoperative Education and Prostectomy Patients, chaired by Deborah Mayer. Dr. Naomi Kristen Askew, Developing a Nurse-Led Home Health Protocol to Reduce Health Failure Admissions, chaired by Dr. Meg Zomorati. Dr. Renee Bridges, project title, Improving a Hospital's Just Culture Environment, Reframing Nurse Leader Responses to Adverse Events Through Education and Role Play, chaired by Dr. Cheryl Jones. Dr. Linwood Carlton, project title, Increasing Confidence, Confidence in Sharing Knowledge About Depression with Barbers as Lay Mental Health Advocates, a cognitive rehearsal project using ADAAM QR web design, chaired by Dr. Cheryl Giscombe. Dr. Lauren M. Conroy, implementation of a palliative care eligibility screening tool to increase enrollment in an outpatient palliative care clinic, chaired by Dr. Carrie Palmer. Dr. William Crosby, project title, a quality improvement initiative to improve the use of mobile health applications for adjunctive treatment of anxiety in an outpatient adolescent specialty clinic, chair Dr. Jennifer Dioria. Dr. Stephanie K. de Graffenreed, Quality Improvement Project on Team Strengthening to Improve Practice Using Team Steps Protocol, chaired by Dr. Laura McQueen. Dr. Mornaki Kritzer, Project Title The Use of an Innovative Game Based Education Simulation to promote interprofessional collaboration between nurses and women's health providers. Project chaired by Dr. Rhonda Lanning. Dr. Ka Blia Lowe, or Nikki Lowe as we know her, performance improvement in risk assessment for hepatitis A, B, and C among asymptomatic home people in a primary care setting. Committee chaired by Dr. Jean Davison. Dr. Kara Audrey Lutzo, practice change social media usage screening to identify high risk adult psychiatric patients, chaired by Dr. Grace Hubbard. Dr. Deidre D. Lyon, evidence based strategies for implementing and sustaining a successful nurse residency program chaired by Dr. Jennifer Alderman. Dr. Allison Marie Stroll, implementing a depression screening in a primary care practice, chaired by Dr. Victoria Soltis Jarrett. Dr. Amber Woodard, missed nursing care and clinical decision support. Can electronic nursing care reminders help reduce this quality and patient safety concern? Project chaired by Dr. Cheryl Jones. For December 2020, Dr. Renee Nicole Bush, Family Presence During Resuscitation, a Quality Improvement Project, chaired by Dr. Lisa Woodley. Dr. Caroline Kraft, uh, Adapted Dialectical Behavior Therapy for Adults with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, a Program Evaluation, chaired by Grace Hubbard. Dr. Rebecca J. Michael, Implementing Debriefing Sessions to Decrease Moral Distress and Burnout in Critical Care Nursing, chaired by Dr. Meg Zomorati. Dr. Bish Tu Nguyen, Implementation of a Medication Adherence Rating Scale to Increase Antidepressant Medication Compliance in the Veteran Population, a Project, a Practice Change, chaired by Dr. Grace Hubbard. Dr. Kayati Patel, Quality Improvement Project to Improve Onboarding of New Advanced Practice Providers at a University-Based Outpatient Neurolo Neurology Clinic, 
chaired by Dr. Jessica Williams. Dr. Malikabin Patel, piloting a self-report symptom assessment tool in three outpatient oncology palliative care clinics. Project chaired by Dr. Ashley Leek Bryant. Dr. Cami Moore Pressler, incorporating a yoga and mindfulness intervention for a new nurse residency program, chaired by Dr. Meg Zomorati. Dr. Michelle Sadler, project improving sleep quality in hours in patients in the outpatient psychiatric setting using sleep hygiene education and screening tools, chaired by Dr. Carrie Palmer. Dr. Tammy Trigolonis, addressing organizational engagement gaps, a pilot project for oncology advanced practice provider, Grand, Grand Rounds, chaired by Dr. Carrie Palmer. We'd like to congratulate the graduates of the Doctor of Nursing Practice program. I will now present to you the, gra the graduates of the Master of Science in Nursing program. For August 2019, Jacob Edward Semple, Family Nurse Practitioner, Healthcare Systems, Gail Bradley Informatics, and Desiree Redmond Administration. December 2019, Jessica Johnson, Family Nurse Practitioner, Trista Danielle Wilson, Administration, Healthcare System. Clinical nurse leaders, Anna Elizabeth Mall, Laura Kathleen Murphy McMillan, Caroline Grace Schacht, Danielle Stope, Stofi. Outcomes management, Jennifer Kelly Burkett, Melinda Levan Loeffler. For May 2020, Adult Gerontology Primary Care Nurse Practitioner Graduates, Maria Alex Zudis, Catherine R. Allman, Lauren Elizabeth Barkley, Taylor Ann Cohen, Jonah Jana McKinn Granford, Pamela Duncan, Idia Horton, Melissa Hurt, Elizabeth Insko, Pamela Mundy, Wen Kayan Uyang, Rebecca Dunn Queen, McLean Quinn, Meredith Seiler, Rebecca Song, Tanya Sullivan, Lydia Teague, Catherine Terry, Kelsey Turk, Shannon Banasani, Catherine Watson, Melissa Wilkinson, Deborah Zimmerman. For the family nurse practitioner graduates, we have Carly Elizabeth Bastian, Carolyn Battle, Emily Morgan Brown, Alyssa Rochelle Cafro, Romika Chavez, Nicholas Cordiero, Joshua Howard Deal, Cameron Delforge, Corin Dickinson, Amy Daughtery, Laura Downey, Caitlin Drinkpole, Catherine Fogel, Laura Gregory, Lindsay Hefner, Heather Hill, Juliet Idiobunya, Natasha Keenan, Vera Mano, Whitney Marks, Matthew Marvel, Ashlyn Perry, Kristen Rizzo, Charles Sayre, Amber Smith, and Shaikila Tillman. In Healthcare Systems Administration, Kristen Lee McCain, Kimberly Lim Morton, Morton. In Informatics, Amelia Melucas, Hasman Parez. P 
pediatric nurse practitioner, primary care, Lauren Aves, Allison Berger, Samantha Dowell, Alexis Fernandez, Kendall Goheen, Megan Hoekstra, Nora Jablonski, Sarah James, Samantha Jimiala, Shara Lockney, Catherine Luter, Emily Morgan, Jamie Morris, Jody O'Connor, Rachel Park, Chloe Pinner, Emily Rieg, Kristen Schaub, Sarah Schaefer, Anna Scholl, Patricia Taylor. For psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, Adepeyu Boaji, Adrian Emery Ramirez, Kelly Gasco, Rachel Jones, Dorothy Cabasso, Danielle Lampman, Brooke Levy Johnson, Victoria Obler, Karen Shugart, William Smith, Elise Stanford, Wambui Thuku, Carol Ann Wade, Elizabeth Ward. For August 2020, Daniel Metzer, Family Nurse Practitioner, Jonathan Pitts, Healthcare Systems, Informatics. For December 2020, Sarah D. Lima, Family Nurse Practitioner, Laura Guilty, Gilly, Healthcare Systems, Outcomes Management. For our postmasters or postgraduate certificate in nursing program for May 2020 in psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, Shannon Blackenbeckler, Bonnie Kennedy, Brad Gardner, and Charlene Whitaker Brown. Join me in congratulating all of you for Masters of Science or Postmasters or Postgraduate Certificate programs. We would like to congratulate you on completing another milestone in your educational career. The responsibility for transforming the future of healthcare rests with you. The COVID-19 pandemic has put nursing in the spotlight. North Carolina and the world recognize the critical need for highly educated nurses. Nurses who have advanced knowledge and skills to rise to new levels of leadership throughout the healthcare system. Take time to celebrate your success. We proudly, proudly look forward to you joining with us in the preparation of future graduate nurses. Stay safe and thank you for attending UNC Chapel Hill. Hi, I'm Louise Fleming, the Associate Dean of the Undergraduate Programs and Division. And it is my pleasure to present the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree graduates. I will first present to you the graduates of the accelerated BSN option. August 2019, Emma Alexandra Garrett. December 2019, Sarah Martin, Erica Shinazi. May 2020, Jana Alnajar, graduating with honors. Amanda Marie Atkins, Princess Avery, graduating with honors, and the George R. Levis Outstanding Senior Nursing Awardee, Louisa Zovia Bernhardt, Haley Bellaros, Elizabeth Blaylock, Caitlin Page Blanchard, Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation and graduating with honors. Shannon Marie Burns, Genevieve Ebby Chalstrom, Jamesanna Joy Clapp, graduating with honors, Erin Mary Coogan, graduating with honors, Adam Cook, Sarah Cooper, Christina Isabel Cusenza, Lee Ann Dasher, 
Gabrielle Nicole Dastoli, Caitlin Marie Davis, Cheney Nicole Deadman, Sarah Laurel DeFeo, Samuel Demers, graduating with honors, Ekaterina Demidoff, Brittany Dickerson, William Christopher Dipple, Jasmine Adriana Dunlap, Joanna Elizabeth Falkenberry, Megan Kimberly Feltz, Giannina Joy Katakutin Forbes, Leah Jacqueline Forster, Erin Jadoin Giadis, graduating with honors, Samantha Garcia, Kelly Nicole Gooden, Isabel Ellen Goodwin, Zachary Graham, Katie Lynn Griffith, Rachel Nicole Gross, Prashamsha Haradas, Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation, Olivia Lynn Hartman, Sarah Hussein Heichel, Tori Ann Hind, graduating with highest honors. Caitlin Nicole Hip. Krisha Enid Jones, graduating with honors. Ayano Kokoki. Jennifer Camille Laskowski. Mary Hannah Laurent. Naj Imani Leek. Jennifer Lee. Amanda Lemond, Emily Margaret Lipinski, Kristen Nicole McLeod, graduating with highest honors, Grace Marquina, Jada Moni, Esther McDonald, Kelly Marie McClendon, Jeremy Medlin, Lindsay Ann Moore, Taylor Nicole Moore, Allie Minchin Murphy, Megan Haley Murphy, Zaina Alice Nichols, Mariah Helen Asenga, Cheng Kian, Miranda Alice Ray, Stephanie Swan Rash, Caitlin Riddle, Stephanie Roth, Rachel Morgan Santee, Carly Jean Shell, James Scott Sellers, Megan Hammond Sowers, graduating with honors, Emily Suzanne Strung, Laura Sean Irene Sullivan, Mandy Joe Stager, Ellen Thompson, Chelsea Marie Turner, Haley Christine Yurek, Mark Andrew Vankerhove, Diana Victoria Vides, Michaela Wall, graduating with honors, Jessica Elizabeth Weaver, Caitlin Weinberg, Gabrielle Imani Witten, Tori Lynn Williams, graduating with honors, Elise Elaine Wood, Albert Francis Wu. I will now present to you the graduates of the BSN option. August 2019, Bailey Anita Barker, Sierra Tahisha Franklin, Jamie Gearligan, December 2020, June So Nam, May 2020, Melody Alexander, graduating with highest honors, Quabina Amo Asare, Madison Clay Andrews, graduating with honors, Walker Arendis, Faith Biddinger, graduating with highest honors and the James M. Johnston Outstanding Senior Nursing Student Awardee. 
Chloe Elizabeth Boyd, Michaela Marie Browder, Ashley Bowie, Kristen Grace Bulla, May Elise Burgard, Rachel Lynn Church, graduating with honors, Mackenzie Elisa Diane Cochran, graduating with honors, Suzanne Alexandria Carruthers, Rebecca Lyerly Davidson, graduating with honors, Emily Grace Davis, graduating with highest honors, Julia Suzanne Duncan, graduating with honors, Sarah Catherine Fisher, Morgan Suzanne Fitz, graduating with highest honors, Erin Colette Flynn, Cassie Marie Friday, Rebecca Bay Friday, graduating with highest honors, Casey Lee Gamble, Hunter Shade Gibson, Despina Caitlin Giadis, graduating with honors, Taylor Brianne Griffin, Madeline Claire Griner, Taylene Grindo, Sue Jung Ha, graduating with honors, Hannah Marie Hawk, graduating with honors, Caroline Grace Beeman Hawes, graduating with honors, Michaela Danielle Hayes, Sarah Hainan, Sierra Jane Hickman, Kai Yin Su, Sarah Hunt, graduating with honors, Cindy Ying Yu, Carly Elizabeth Jasinski, Selena Jimenez, graduating with highest honors, Erica Page Johnson, Alexandra Haley Jones, graduating with honors. Inno Angelo Cesar Jumawid. Hunter Blake Kirkman. Genevieve Emma Kopp. Sarah Bethany Kurzel. Brooke Nicole Langevin, graduating with honors. Susan Yin Lee. Nianna Manning, Erin Merez, graduating with honors. Lydia Elizabeth McBride, graduating with honors. Olivia Ann Miles, Yekaterina Yervina Merzoyan, Mary Elise Monroe, Ma Angelica Nicole Ascano Montegrico, Kathleen Margaret Moore. Emily Marie Morgan, graduating with honors. Ace Modus. Haley Ann Nusser, graduating with honors. Barrett Odom. Tyler Matthew Osborne, graduating with honors. Gerald Mark Pallad. Monique Pardo Montez. Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation, graduating with honors. Sydney Pierce Parrish, graduating with honors. Lauren Taylor Perkins. Mallory Ann Phillips. Rebecca Rose Pierce. Jessica Lee Porter. Jessica Powers. Saru Rayamaji, Madison Elizabeth Robertson, Erica Michelle Rogers, Philip Jeffrey Roma, graduating with honors, Katie Lynn Satterfield, Karen Shin, Anthony Sergio Ciano, Lydia Grace Silver, Paige Marie Skinner, Madeline Paige Smith, graduating with honors, Shelby Nicole Smith, 
Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation, graduating with highest honors. Haley Rose Somberg, graduating with honors. Anne Marie Stonehouse. Emily Elizabeth Swink, graduating with honors. Ashlyn Hemsley Swintek, graduating with highest honors. Anne Elizabeth Tewksbury. Lauren Ansley Townsend, graduating with honors. Twee Tran. Ismael Aaron Urbina, graduating with honors. Gabriella Valachinova, graduating with honors. Madison Taylor Vick. Michael Alexander Viola. Eric Michael Wagner. Yu Wang. Nicole May Ward, graduating with honors. Madison Lee Whitesides. Hannah Catherine Wilder. Andrew Williamson. Yua Cindy Yang. Chelsea Patricia Zavala DeGaldo. August 2020, Angela K. Payne. December 2020, Jada Shalom Baker. Leticia Kiana Harris, Hillman Scholar in Nursing Innovation, graduating with highest honors. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We know you are out in communities all across the country right now healing, and we could not be more proud of you. Take care of yourselves and know we're always here for you. Thank you. Honor graduates, you are now transitioning from students to cherished alumni in the School of Nursing, as well as valued colleagues to those of us who have been privileged to be part of your educational journey. We hope that in the future, you will return to Carrington Hall often and hold dear the memories and friendships you made while you were among us. We also hope that you and your families recognize the growth that has occurred during your, your years here at Carolina. We hope that you will treasure the gift of your education, but please remember that as a professional, you have only begun what will be a continual process of lifelong learning. We bid you farewell for now and wish you rewarding and fulfilling careers. Go forward and make us proud as Carolina nurses. Go Heels. <laughs>